I'm Richard Corrigan. I operate Harrod Sea Grill. The dish I'm going to be cooking for you today is roast turbot with Bernier sauce. One of my all-time favorite fish dishes. Delicious, succulent, wild fish with a beautiful homemade Bernays. Beautiful specimen of turbot. We've cut it down the middle and then we've taken a lovely steak out of it. Okay, small bit of goose food paper, have we? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mike. It's a little clever little movement of putting your piece of fish, grease proof paper, and then you can put the paper straight onto the grill. Okay, a tiny bit of seasoning on that. Seafood is something I've really always specialised in. All of the ingredients for a hard sea grill are sourced around the British Isles and Ireland. Most of our wild fish comes from the Devon, Cornwall and Brixton areas. I mean, we are so fussy, frankly, that we don't even deal with fish suppliers. It comes straight from the boat. When the turbine is just kind of, we call that pan roasting on the griddle, we have here the shallots, peppercorns, thyme, tiny bit of garlic and some tarragon, white wine and white wine vinegar. And what we're going to do is make a complete, we call it a reduction, where we reduce it almost to there's no liquid left. And that's going to give the acidity and the flavor to the Bernays. Otherwise, the emulsion of eggs and butter, very rich, no depth of flavor. This sorts this out. One of the great classical sauces. I first got into cooking, really helping out on the farmhouse kitchen. You know, we'd always have, we would always have workmen during the harvest period, so there'd be large amounts of people to be fed and looked after. So helping my mother cook at a very early stage was my first, you know, kitchen experience, more or less. My reduction, I talked about the white wine vinegar, the white wine, the shallots, the tarragon, the thyme, the peppercorn is now more or less reduced. I add it into the pot. We just take it down to there, right? Egg yolks in, whisk around, then off piece, on heat. You understand? And you see what's happening? Look at the egg thickening already. Look at that. Done. No scrambled eggs here. Stop moving around. Put it there. We take our clarified butter, which is. We're not going to use all of this. This is for my kitchen. Then we're going to add in our butter. Slowly, very slowly. We are almost making mayonnaise now. When I'm tasting it, I'm looking for the acidity, butter content, and the richness of the egg. Okay, I'm going to have to turn the turbot now. The garnish of the bernaise. Two spoonfuls of very finely chopped shallot. One spoonful of chives. A half of tarragon. We need that tarragon flavor there, but not too much. And one spoon of chervil. Stirring it around. Look at that. When I, when I cook at home, I try to keep it really simple, you know what I mean? I like a really nice big green salad, a nice simple roast. It's always Sunday, so basically a really nice simple roast. It could be beef, lamb, or a really nice chicken. It's always a nice salad, maybe a gratin dauphin rose, but it's always nice, a nice glass of burgundy. That's how we keep it. We have a forager working for the Bentleys, and the forager Miles, at different times of the year, he brings us wonderful wild foods from the countryside. And this, he's just brought us in this morning, some wild leeks. So I'm gonna serve that. What a beautiful garnish to serve. We just put them on the grill very, very quickly. We put them on the plate, a piece of turbot, the bernet sauce. It's a dish to have on your deathbed. Utterly gorgeous. Certainly my last request, that and a bottle of white burgundy.